going to rev it up with new TG. We're going to show a little combo showcase here and show you a working build that we've got going here. All clear. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more honest content. And, uh, you know, I hope you genuinely enjoy this because this is going to be a good showcase because uh, this combo, I love this deck. I, I think that the whole TG combo lines that they've got now with all of the new monster types, at least being one of is kind of cool here. So we're going to slam into main phase here. We're going to drop a little tank grub down here. Now, if this card you control is use a synchro material for TG monster, you treat it as a non-tuner. So that's going to be important. And then if this card sends the graveyard as a synchro material, it's about to summon that level one TG token, which is uh, going to be pretty relevant here. Now we're going to go ahead and deploy the little drill fish. All right. If all monsters you control a TG minimum one, go ahead and drop this from my hand. Okay, sure. I love this. Okay, so we've got the TG established. We'll go ahead and uh, we're going to ditch, get rid of them, single roll away with them. All right, get out of here. Shoo, shoo, go away. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make the Mighty Striker here. This card is actually absurd. So on single summer, we're going to get to add a TG spell or trap from our deck to our hand. Okay, well, sure, we'll go ahead and do our effects. We'll stack on up here. We get our free little token here. And we're going to go ahead and grab all clear here, which is going to actually be where the fun stuff starts to begin here. So uh, TG monsters on the field will become a machine, and during your main phase you can normal summon a TG monster in addition to your normal summoner set, and then during your main phase you destroy a TG monster in your hand or field to add a TG monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard to our hand. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to do our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful action here of blowing up Mighty Striker, and we're going to search for the Serpent here. Now, Mighty Striker is going to go ahead and get us our dump from the deck here, because, you know, this card also has to include the, if this card is sent from the Monster Zone to the Graveyard, send a TG from your deck to the Graveyard. Okay. Really, really glad that they uh, they had to include that effect. So now we'll go ahead and do our additional normal here, which we're going to get out Screw Serpent here. Hi. And we'll go ahead and we'll make the Overdragner here, because this is also a tuner. So... Congratulations, you've gone ahead and established. Now this is literally the best card in the deck. Um, this is the Junk Synchron of the era. So, on Synchro Summon, so I'll summon any number of TG monsters from your graveyard in defense position, and now we're gonna lock ourselves into TG for the rest of this turn. So keep that in mind, all right? Like there's there's no like value going from here. This is it, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, trigger our effect, bring back all of our friends here. So. You know, we, we went through all of this trouble to dump all of these minions down just so that we can get them back on the field, which is fine. So now we're going to go ahead and take the drill with our value here. Hello, Serpent. Welcome back. We're going to make another level 5 synchro here, which is now where we're going to make the Librarian. The fact that this deck is also going to get the chance to abuse Librarian here is good. And you see here we're going to go ahead and trigger Screw Serpent here. Uh, so blah 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 uh normal special we did the extension we already did that you can banish this card from your graveyard target a tg monster you control increase or decrease its level by one till the end of the turn here so we're gonna go ahead and modify this down to four here and we're gonna go ahead and take the tank grub with our dragner now we're gonna go ahead and make the star guardian here so once per chain during your opponent's main phase you can do a synchro summon and then if this card is special summon target a TG monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand, or during your main phase you special summon a TG monster from your hand. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and Hyper Librarian. So we'll go ahead and we draw our imaginary card. So now we're plus one on the Librarian. We got our value off of this. We'll go ahead and Synchro or <laughs> Link Summon into Trident now. So on Link Summon of this, so summon a card from your hand, one from your deck, and one from your graveyard in defense position to your zones that this card points to. And then you cannot swap some for this turn except for TG. Sure, we'll continue on with our uh, with our value. Go ahead and revive the three. So now we got Screw Serpent back. We're getting out the Rocket Salamander finally. And now you're going to see Tank Grub here. Now remember, this card lets you tribute uh, TG to special on a TG with a different original name from your deck. And if you control Machine TG and target a level four or lower um, TG monster in your graveyard and uh, do its thing. So back comes the absolute value here. Time to spin them on up. I'm going to go ahead and make the Wonder Magician here. All right, the Wonder Magician is going to go ahead and uh, pop that. Uh, you know, that's fine. We don't really care. All right. Hello. Welcome back, value. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and synchro on up into this so we can get another draw. We're plus three now. Okay, we'll go ahead and rotate on up into the Tank Grub. And we're going to go ahead and make another Mighty Striker. And then basically during your opponent's turn at this stage is the point where you're going to make this. 
congratulations, you've been here long enough to see us play through the opponent's turn and King Calamity them. I am actually physically disgusted that this deck is able to do this. Now, all things considered, I mean, you saw we drew three cards. This literally was a two-card combo to kind of showcase what this deck can actually do. And I mean, there are other combo lines and methods of things that you'll be able to do with the Rocket Salamander, because this is literally one of the best cards that the deck has going for it in terms of its combo extensions and all of that. So that should be a pretty good showcase to get your foot in the door here to go, wow, you know, like TG actually looks like it might be a little bit fun. All right, we're gonna pass on over so you can take a look at this deck list. All right, so this is gonna be the list that we're gonna be using to display and showcase everything that you can or what you saw that we were capable of doing now there, there are a lot of things that you can modify for this um we were trying to make this as competitively viable as possible or at least Uzo Hole was when he was making this because you know you want to try to make sure that you can have the deck be able to play through as much of the meta as possible so we are playing of course triple copies of ash blossom and joyous annoy the opponent standard hand trap very important now we are playing misc in here now before you're like wait why are you playing misc well it's because the Booster Raptor here is a dinosaur. So you control TG monster, you can special summon this from your hand. You only special summon TG Booster Raptor once per turn this way. And then once per turn during the end phase of his card is in the grave because it was destroyed by field or card effect. You add a TG monster from your deck to your hand, except for Booster Raptor. So the whole thing is you can discard Misk, go ahead and then, you know, banish Misk, and then go ahead and special summon the Booster Raptor here, which is free real estate for the deck. Because once again, I mean, getting another extra body on the field that's a level one is a free extender for this and this also might bait an ash especially if you start combo here and you discard ash and your opponent looks at you and goes what what am i supposed to do about this it's because you know you've, you've now established your extender now we do play the one drill fish uh the whole main thing is this is going to be another extender for the deck and then that's it all right you need to be able to get to this guy right here because this is the central piece of the combo line now we do play the one gear zombie it's standard tuner target a, a tg monster control especially something this card from your hand and then the target monster loses a thousand attack it's another extender it's another level one that you need to be able to see in order to do full combo now we do play the triple copies of rocket salamander so the free lone fire blossom special summon from the deck and then if you control a machine tg monster you can target a level four lower tg monster in your graveyard and special summon in defense position but yeah the effects are negated i don't really care all that much about that the biggest things that i care about here are the Lone Fire-esque effect to be able to do whatever we need. Now, of course, we do play the Triple Screw Serpent. Like I said, this card is the nuts, all right? On normal or special, target a level four or lower, TG, except for it in special summon it. It's effects are negated. That's fine. We don't care about that. And you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a TG monster you control, increase or reduce its level by one until the end of the turn free extensions that's what you really want to see here and then of course we have the triple tank grub this little guy here gives us the free little token when used for synchro material for a tg monster and then of course it uh, gets to be able to make or uh, be uh, treated as a non-tuner which is one of the things that the deck actually needed now we do play the triple copies of bonfire here now bonfire all things considered is one of the best cards here because it can actually tutor for the rocket cell man the fact that they made that thing a Pyro Monster is hilarious to me. Now we also play Call by the Grave so we can stop the standard hand traps. Fossil Dig for the Misk for the extension. Monster Reborn for the revive. One for one for the extension. Pot of Prosperities for filtering. Then of course we do have the Break Limiter here. Remember this lets you discard to add two TGs from your deck to your hand and then you can banish it from your graveyard. Target a TG in your graveyard and shuffle into the deck. Or if you control a machine TG you can add it to your hand instead. And then of course we have the triple copies of All Clear. Uh, of course everything becomes a machine which really stinks if your opponent contact fusions with you but that's fine and then during your main phase you can destroy a tg monster in your hand to add a tg with a different name from your deck so i mean more extensions for the deck and then we have two copies of talents and two thrusts we already know how good these cards are the triple imperm and then we do play two copies of tg close here so when your opponent activates the spell trap critter monster effect and you control a machine tg negate that activation and if you do destroy that card and then if you would synchro a monster or monsters becomes banished or so yeah if you lose your synchro you can set this back to your field which is pretty good now down here in the extra deck pretty standard resources so you do play the one trident so you can do all the extensions you do play the wonder magician for the ability to quick synchro slash pop 
Guardian for extensions. Uh, the Dragonfly actually is usable for this. We also have triple copies of Overdragner for the full extensions. Pray this doesn't get impermed. We have two copies of Mighty Striker. This is going to be the starter to get to the all clear. And then, of course, we have the Halberd Cannon if you need a sub boss monster. Two copies of the Glaive Blaster here. Now, remember, this is a tuner synchro plus two non tuner synchro monsters. It must be synchro summon. Quick effect target one monster that was special summoned from the extra deck and banish it. Then you can use this effect up to a number of times uh, of your number of non-tuner synchro monsters used for that and then uh when a monster becomes banished face up you can target one of them and special summon it to your field ignoring summoning condition so you can take anything that the opponent set up which is pretty good and then we also get the chance to play the shooting tgx dragon and then king calamity here to kind of wrap up everything in terms of value for the deck so yeah that is where we're sitting right now for tg i think that this deck is honestly a lot of fun so please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think and i'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day guys peace out Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.